Good evening, folks. Welcome to tonight's game between the Baylor Bears and the Duke Blue Devils. Tonight, we really have an interesting matchup at the point guard position. Number three makes it clear who's the leader out there. On the other side, we've also got a great leader out on the floor. This will be a great matchup to track throughout the night. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. The Blue Devils should be in for a tough one tonight, Dick. What do you see as the keys to their success? The keys are very simple, my friend. Number one, reward your big man. Give him the ball down low. Get him into the game. Let him be part of the offense. Second, it's imperative that you win the battle on the board. And lastly, play every defensive possession like it's the last. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action. See what's in store for us. The ball goes out of bounds. Shows patience waiting for the reset. He shoots from the angle. There was no doubt about that one. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. High post screen. So effective that screen. Tinsley handles the feed. Up and inside. The power forward receives the pass. They'll bring it up and off the mark. He'll regroup the offense. He attempts the trifecta off the rim and no good. And he scores despite the hack. Fouled him. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially that's a three quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. Gave it up. Crum receives the ball. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Trying to pack it inside. Tinsley is fired up and ready to go. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. Looking for contact. And the ball goes out of bounds. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. Controlling the ball. On the outside, he shoots from the top of the circle. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. If he keeps this up, he may collapse. His teammates must pick it up. For two. I think did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. the pass tries for two inside ball comes back out from the post I tell you Brad you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man they've got a three-point shooter spotting up fed the low block that spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Let's take another look. Oh, 
Oh. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. And the ball goes out of play. He keeps the dribble as they reset. They work the perimeter. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Cue the rewind button, boys. Great job of getting down the floor. Yeah, they bolted the fast break. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. And a momentary look from three-point land. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. Inside, in the paint. Goes up for two. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Great play to take that to the basket. Cue up the replay, fellas. Up fake. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Long lead pass, trying to draw some contact, drains it. And the fans are going wild. Listen to that roar, it's unbelievable. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. Poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's pounding the ball to the deck. Where's he going? He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. They work it around the perimeter. Nice high post screen. The ball goes out of play. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Crumb pounded on his way up. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points, they add up at the end, plus you get people into foul trouble. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus. It's BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Seen him change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. That was a high post screen, goes to the lane. Oh, yes. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Unloads a three. Way off target. Moving it around the perimeter. He bombs from outside. 
He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's not going to down with ease, Brad. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. It's a fast break pass. They get that rejected. Up and inside. The skip pass is picked off. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Defense giving some room. Dickey's simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. The student section looks like they're having a great time. Time to pick up the defense here now. Run right at the screen again. What did I say? Layup sign. I'm telling you, Brad, you could have a field day against these guys. Let's put a uniform on. Nobody within 10 feet of an easy basket again. I mean, unbelievable. Let's blow out City. to see the level of energy, Dick, when they come out of this timeout. There's a double team waiting there. Shoots it. That's good. Spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Baylor had put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. He makes the block. They just keep shutting the door. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad, in regards to our player matchup, the coaching staff has expected it to be evenly matched up across the board all night long. But you wonder, who's going to be the first one to throw the punch? Thanks, Erin. On the inside, he uses the shot fake. Ten seconds on the clock. The Blue Devils have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Brad, he's on fire. Now they work it around the perimeter. He's got an open look for the shot. Right in the circle. Gets it to go. On the outside. Look at that spacing. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? On the dribble. Gives it up. From the baseline. They'll bring it out on top. Thinks about the shot. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc. Looking for the open jumper. He gets it to go. It's not unlikely to see nothing but blue in these stands during their home games. You know what it symbolizes, Brad? Unity. Unity and school pride. The Blue Devils have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Oh, 
This is what you're supposed to do down low, is go up strong. I tell you, it was great post play. Clinic 101 and how to explode to the goal. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Step out on that screener. The Bears have got to continue to get him the ball. Randy's on fire. There's the fake. That's a foul. Oh, he's not going to be happy with that call. What well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Here's a flash from the high post. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stressed during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Here's the replay. Little baby hook. I tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. Tries for two. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Unloads. Off the rim and no good. He drains it. Now, bad angle. We'll take the shot. Way off target. We're going to move it around the perimeter. The student body is rocking tonight. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. For three, he shows the sweet touch. trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. The pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. And they get the turnover. And back they come the other way. 
Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Here's a double team. He shoots from a low post. Off the rim and no good. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. There's the trap. From beyond the arc. Way off target. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He goes to the line for the first time. He misses the first shot. Second shot is good. Set that screen away. Great play to take that to the basket. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle. Up. There's the rejection. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He tries the three. Knocks it down. The Blue Devils are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. And the fans here are loving the action. Well, listen to those fans. The crowd is thunderous. He goes for three. He can't miss. Hey, this young man's feeling it, Brad. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Momentary look from three-point land. It's good. Looking for a good shot. Takes the pass in the paint. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Boy, terrible execution on offense. On the outside. He makes a good move using the pro hop and draws the foul. Not check him out. Who would have thought with a cheerleader? Come on. Hey, he's dancing, baby. A dancer. I never knew that. I'm surprised. He goes to the free throw line. He got it. Trying to funnel him to the sideline, take him to a trap. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Taken away. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. You don't get back, don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert, get the number game going. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. On the outside. He shoots from the elbow. Off the rim and no good. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brown. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. him of the ball. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. It's electrifying in here. Game 
gave it up. They move it into the front court. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound to build. Post flashes. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. Working it around the perimeter. For two, they still don't score. Pump fakes. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Oh, what a strip, Red. They push it up on the break. Tries for two. Easy one. Top of the key. Great job of running the defender into the screen for the nice J. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. With the jump hook. And in and out. Throws it up, hoping for the best. Way off target. At halftime, the Bears are trailing by 10. Well, let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. Duke is showing tremendous accuracy from the floor in the first half, partner. They're so well coached, man. Working the ball around for the high percentage shot. That's a lot of maturity, man. They really are a mature basketball team. Dick, two great players now heading into the second half. We watched them through the first half, and they played it pretty dead even. We'll see what happens here in the second half. Well, they're really doing a great job. Both guys getting good shots, really making them count, and really their teammates are getting the ball at the right time. Cameron Indoor Stadium is going wild. Duke, the ACC, they go hand in hand. Hey, they sure do, Brad. The players that Duke is able to sign are perfect for the ACC. Athletic, creative, some of the finest players in the nation. Steele go up the other way, get a layup. Trying to draw the foul. Basket falls despite the contact. There's a double team waiting there. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Look at that spacing. Penetrates and kicks back. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Goes up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. 
It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. You can't forget about them. The witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. Got the high pick. Stolen away. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Perfectly executed. Stolen ball. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. On the top of the circle, the Bears have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Drops the bucket despite the harm. High post screen. Great play to take that to the basket. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He's going to muscle it on the inside. What an explosive move to the goal. No wasted time. He had his mind made up. He was attacking the basket. Stop and pop. Makes it. Two. I love this guy hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? Intercepted. Alley oop. I saw a play for that oop. He got the good pass and threw it down, baby. Looking for a good shot. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Tries for two. He puts it in with contact and all. They work it around the perimeter. Puts it up, looking for contact. Scorches the net. Cameron Indoor Stadium is going wild. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. They won't let that go. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Tinsley goes to the line for the first time. Routine. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. On the outside. He looks for three. He hits a bullseye again. And he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. Fakes a jumper. 
And they come with a double team to stop it. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Wow, take a look at the mascot. He's going crazy after that last dunk. He's jumping all over. He looks like he wants some blood. I love it, baby. Love that enthusiasm. With a bucket. Perfectly executed. Watch this. out of bounds. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. Here's a double team. Jumps into the defender, and he scores despite the hack. They've got a player spotting up on the three. And a momentary look from three-point land. Off the rim and no good. Comes away with it. Too physical. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. The Bears just seem to be frustrated out there, Dick. Hey, it doesn't take much to bring the emotional level down, Brad. All it takes is a couple of turnovers, missed shots, and poor decisions, and the coach even goes wacky. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. That spin move not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. We'll show you another angle from the booth. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Great play to take that to the basket. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. For two, Baylor are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Way off target. Now they work it around the perimeter. Sets the screen for his teammate. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, the player matchup has been our focus tonight, and he's been effective because his teammates are finding him in the right spots, and he's knocking down all his shots, guys. Gets his first. Both free throws go. Looking for a good shot. Jumped in front to take it away. He 
gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I did a great job creating the good angle too when he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive play. Stolen away. And the ball goes out of play. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Throws it and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Here's a flash from the post up high. Tries to get the D to bite. Pushing that basketball. Picked out of the air. Here they go into transition. Tries for two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. With the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I'll take a great spin move to the basket. He intercepts it. With a long bomb. Gliding in for the jam. Sliding and gliding. Nobody rotated over. The defense moves so slowly. Look at these fans, they're loving it. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more, Mr. Nestler. We are so lucky that we get to go to all these schools and experience the mayhem firsthand. There's a high screen. The ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. In the paint, leans in, perfectly executed. Take it away. Let's see if they can get a two on this end. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Great defense. Defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. For the bucket. I tell you, this great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Picked off. The ball goes out of bounds. Dick, we get a look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nestler. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. He shoots from outside. 
Duke are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Yeah, they're really starting to cook on offense. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. This one might go down to the final buzzer. Offensively, this is when it's extremely important to have the right people shooting the basketball at the right time. The land. Adam. Momentary look from three point land. He shoots from the top of the key. He drains the bucket. Cameron Indoor Stadium is going wild. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. He can't get the bucket to fall. Basket falls despite the contact. Steals the pass. But inside. From three-point range. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. They get it out into transition. Kicks it out. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Double team now. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's one you take for the team, Brad. Goes to the line. Makes the shot. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Takes it off him. The offense can't get that break going. These boys have really done their homework. He strips him clean. Michael screen. So effective that screen. He pump fakes. Working it around the perimeter. Intercepted. The center receives the ball. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play. To There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. They work it back to the outside. Puts it up. He hits it. I'll tell you what, with a score, this crowd is going to go nuts, Dick. He puts up the tray. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Dick's six-point lead here. They have to keep applying the pressure if they want to win this one, Brad. Baylor have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. 
Pushes it up. Look at that spacing. And the ball goes out of bounds. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brad, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession air timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show's about to start, Brad. here after the timeout. A lot of time to go now, Dick, on a seven-point lead. That's right, Brad. A lot of time. They don't need to start forcing shots. Goes up for two. Up and inside. Cross court. Takes away the pass. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. The power forward takes the feed. With the shot. This important possession if they want a chance to win. Well, time out on the floor, and that gives us a break to go courtside. Here's Aaron. Well, at this point in the game, it's about being on the same page. Each player should know what the objective is for the upcoming possession. Offensively, you must know who the number one option is, while defensively, the type of defense you're going to play or whether to foul. Time is of the essence, Brad. Thanks, Aaron. Can we expect a little change in direction here, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. Six points is the difference. Wow, do they need a basket badly, Brad? Momentum will decide it. They got a foul quickly here. The center with the ball. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented marks that they have. Yeah, that helps. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. And yet another foul. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Well, here's a look at the turnover situation, Dick. Probably one of the stats that coaches really care about the most. I'll tell you, definitely, Brad. Turnovers are missed shot opportunities. And without shot opportunities, winning games becomes really difficult. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. And yet another foul. So he'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created a foul opportunity. He misses the second shot. Shot clock is dead. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. They look like they're having a blast. Another look. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Nobody likes this point in the game, and the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. And we'll go to the free throw line. It's good. Second shot is good. They can make it very interesting with a score here.
The players got a much needed breather with that timeout. For two. Better fall quick. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Well, Dick, what's the backcourt situation looking like to you? I'll tell you, Brad, guard play is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backcourt play dictates your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent, controlling the tempo in a game, distributing the ball, scoring, and pressuring on a defensive end. They are all characteristics of having a solid tandem in a perimeter. Krohn makes a great move to draw the foul. Oh, Mr. Nestler, there's no need for that extracurricular stuff. I agree, but that was a great play. Now it seems as though his emotions are getting the best of him. He is going to the line. Hits the first. Hits the second shot. Timeout's called. Time is not on their side right now, Brad. They need some big shots, baby. Play about ready to resume. He attempts the three. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. Dick, we know the TV business. You've got to have marquee matchups, but it's still about team basketball. Well, I think it played out fairly well, but it's all within the realm of the team. The one thing I like about the Stars, they're playing as a unit with their teammates. Duke played well against a good team tonight for the win. Well, they may have come in a little overconfident, but they held their composure at the end. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners, Dick Vitale.